Hello dear students. This video is to demonstrate how an AutoCAD file in which there is a solid model with the associative uh, views uh, can be transferred to Inventor. Uh, or in other words, uh, assume that you have an AutoCAD file, uh, 3D AutoCAD file, and uh, in the company, the existing software is not AutoCAD, but in Invent in, it is Inventor. You need to use Inventor or say uh, you prefer to use Inventor because Inventor is a new generation software. Say that in other words or in the other case scenario, uh, there is an AutoCAD file in the archive of the company. Okay opening that file in Inventor, you're going to study on engineering calculations, perform the engineering calculations, or you're going to send the data to robots, 3D printers, etc. Now, the question is that how an AutoCAD file can be imported to Inventor, Autodesk Inventor. Now, here, this is AutoCAD mechanical environment and uh, in the environment uh, there is uh, the model of there is a mod solid model of a certain object remember uh, you studied on this uh, geometry uh, last week uh, uh, to satisfy the fulfillment of the short exam and last meeting class time uh, repeated on studying on this example uh, as the first class work of that day one more time. I'm going to use this model uh, say in answering the question how an AutoCAD file can be imported to Inventor. The first thing to do or to pay attention is that if the AutoCAD file is open you cannot export it, okay? In your system, the file is to be in the memory, not active in the screen. So, first thing to do is that, close the file. Yes. One more time, if system says that, shall you save? Yes, of course, for being saved to site, save the file, close. Well, no need to close AutoCAD and then open Inventor. This is Inventor environment. So, well, if there is a CAD file, not a matter it has been created using the tools of AutoCAD or uh, the tools of uh, the commonly used CAD software today. Uh, one of them, you know, is Katya, the other one SolidWorks, the other one Siemens NX parasolid and some others. Well, the procedure is the same. The first thing to do for file importing purpose is that, well, click on file tab along the uh, tab menu bar in Inventor, and then, well, uh, move the cursor on open option, but don't click. Open a file option, but don't click. Jump to the uh, the pane uh, when the cursor is on open option and then find import cat files option yes this is the thing to do at the beginning with a click select that option and then well this uh, search dialog box will appear in the uh, screen show the address of that cat file here in this example the cat file is the one in which we had the solid model of a certain object, the software is AutoCAD. I found the file, okay, and indicate it and say open. Well, following the stage, you see, uh, we see such a dialog box, okay. Uh, click on next button, okay. Well, and wait for a while in the order of few seconds. Software will bring a 
notice dialog yes this one a program saying that uh, this is the school version of the software so using the software you cannot gain money don't use this drawing for commercial or proper professional purpose but at this point yeah yes you should say yes in to say yes click on open button but it may be the case well although there is dialog box it may not be the active dialog or some cases this dialog may not appear in the screen although you waited in the order of few seconds but couldn't find such a dialog to say open then this means in your system you have not only one uh, window but more windows and the uh, active window uh, to make a click is not that one but the other to be able to see how many windows uh, are available in your system well click on alternate alternate group key while you're holding it as pressed click on tab key if you do this you can see uh, in thumbnail uh, size uh, all of the windows uh, just uh, open in your system if the selection box here it is the selection box is not over that notice then you cannot uh, make a click on it so well here it is my case you see this frame is around this thumbnail this means this window is active but the window is inactive so clicking on side arrow of keyboard bring the selection frame onto that window okay and then make a click then can sure that this dialog is active to say open this is an important trick and after saying uh, that you're going to obey to the ethical rules then well next stage you can see uh, well in the dialog box two panes within the first pane you can see the names of the uh, available transparent papers in AutoCAD instead of saying transparent paper you know uh, in AutoCAD uh, in the structure of AutoCAD we say layer these are the layers, uh, okay, uh, those have been used, or we used, uh, those transparent papers in having or creating this model. In the larger pane, you can see the content of the selected file, okay, it can be uh, zoomed in or zoom out. Check whether the content of the file is the, the one uh, you need to uh, imported and then well uh, after being sure that the file is the correct file then click on next button uh, in this dialog it is important uh, if you know that if you sure that AutoCAD file is 3d AutoCAD file in which you have the solid model of something then this box must be selected with a click within the box there should be selection symbol Thanks to this selection, then Inventor can import a solid model file. Okay. Well, the program will automatically detect the unit of measurement it has been used in that AutoCAD file. Remember, uh, we created that model using centimeter. So Inventor detected that uh, the unit of measurement it has been used in AutoCAD is centimeter. Okay, what else? Well, uh, there are some other tricks in this dialog to deal. Well, to be able to have the model uh, together with the associated geometrical constraints, geometrical relations, uh, well, in Inventor uh, as well, select, need to select these two boxes. Okay, click, click and have the selection marks in within both of them. The other trick in this dialog to deal is that, well, template. Well, uh, Autodesk is an American software. Okay, so at that stage, 
since it is not under the control uh, new file creation stage but just a file importing stage well we should teach to the software that in inventor we are going to use which software uh, which template which template okay so we have clicked on uh, this button if the model to transfer import is an assembly uh, the model of an assembly clicked on this button if the uh, content of the file is uh, in the content of the file you have a, a solid model of a single component clicked on this if well it is imported the file to import is a drawing file here uh, sure that the in the file we have solid model of a single component so clicked on this search button and in this dialog uh, box teach to the software that you're going to use metric unit system obey to the rules of iso have the things in accordance with the rules of iso select metric option and then uh, this template standard means international standards iso standards select this one well thanks to this selection well in inventor after having the model after importing the solid model to inventor you're going to see you're going to have the model in uh, the domain where it is the unit of measurement going to be millimeter and also the associated things will be in accordance with the rules of iso so select this option and then say OK. For drawing file, click on uh, the, uh, the button on which we have magnifier symbol and then select metric unit system. This is also to select the first quadrant and uh, the template uh, to have the things in uh, ISO format and also to have the file in inventor format yes these are necessary things to deal in this dialog box and then click on finish button and wait for a while if in the AutoCAD file uh, there are not there is uh, there are solid model file and also associated to the drawing file then there will be at the end of such an importing stage two files okay in inventor to find one of them drawing file the other one solid model file drawing file uh, is transferred with an empty page uh, since in inventor view creation can be repeated in few minutes latest uh, well uh, in importing uh, an autocad file uh, there is no direct mechanism to have the drawing file to it is content well there is a drawing file here but you see inside of the file is empty so it is not a valuable file clicked on this closing button without saving just shoot it but the solid model file is valuable in which we have the solid model of the object it has been created in AutoCAD clicked on zoom all button and then see the content of that file now after passing to such a, a file importing stage can sure that this model is as if created in inventor thereafter we may continue we may add new features you may we may modify it we can create this orthographic views in short we may use all the tools of inventor perform engineering calculations, send, send the uh, data, necessary data first generated and then send the data to uh, robots, numerically controlled machines or 3D printers. Yes, that is it. Well, uh, the procedure, uh, as I said, one more time repeat, uh, file important, importing procedure uh, is the same. Uh, for AutoCAD file files, for uh, solid work files, for CATIA files, for any other. Okay. 
click on file tab and then open jump to this dialog box and then select import cat file option yes thank you for your interest and watching